Jed here to show you how to access and use Contact Center Analytics for GoTo. You'll want to access our analytics site where our powerful boards are available to help you make more informed decisions and generate better outcomes for your business. Refer to our online resources to find out if this resource is available with your GoTo plan. When it comes to Contact Center Analytics, there are many different reports. Instead of discussing each of those in this video, I will show you where to find the main boards and give you a high-level summary of what each covers. For more information about the different reports, however, I would highly recommend that you view our online resources at this site. You'll need to have an active Contact Center account and be assigned as a supervisor to complete this task. I will use the desktop app for this video, but GoTo can be accessed at this site. I've already signed in as a supervisor, Lance Bingham, and this is the home page. Take note of the left navigation menu. You may see different icons here, depending on what options are available with your GoTo plan. Click on the analytics icon, in my case, to access that. I need to click more first before clicking analytics. A separate page will then open for contact center analytics. You can bookmark that page for faster access in the future. Let's talk about how this page is organized. First, you have your type of boards, which are in the upper left corner. Depending on which board you select will determine the data you see here. Let's talk about the different types of boards. The Agent Performance Board is designed to help you understand how your agents are performing and can help you answer questions like, how effective are my agents with their time? The Queue Caller Board is designed to help you understand what is happening with your call queues and can help you answer questions like, what are my busiest days and times so that I can staff appropriately? The Resolve Conversation Board is designed to help you understand what is happening with your chat queues and can help you answer questions like, which of my digital channels brings in the most conversations? All the boards have the option for you to specify a date range and then select the desired queues. Depending on what board you are on, you may see different drop-down lists for things like agents or call duration. Now in the case of the board I'm currently on, as you can see, I do not have any data yet. I can adjust the filters to see data for other days. It is also important to note that all data visualizations will show data specific to the selected filters and groupings where available. If an agent did not participate in any type of call or chat during the date range, regardless if they were logged in or not, the agent name will not appear in the graphs. Likewise, if there is no data for a given day or hour, no bar will be displayed. If you ever want to reset all of your filters to their original state, click Reset All. You can also create a custom board. This comes in handy if you find that you are trying to gather the same information on a frequent basis. Let's say, for example, that I want to save a custom report to view how my top three agents have been doing over the past 30 days. After setting up your board to reflect the data you are looking for, click Save As. Now give the board a unique name to make it easily identifiable and then click the Save button. You can also share your board with your coworkers. Click the three dots to the right of the title and then select Share. You have two options for sharing. Here is a shareable URL that you can copy and send others. You can also search for people within your organization and click on their name. You'll then want to click the share button. Once shared, this board will appear on the coworkers analytics page. After you share a board with someone, you can return to this section and click manage if you want to no longer share that with them. The information on your boards can be exported. 
click the Export button. You can then select a CSV, PDF, or PNG format. After choosing what type of file, click the Export button. The order of the panels can also be changed by clicking the gear icon in the upper right corner. To change things, click to the left of the name of the data type and then drag it to a different location. That's all there is to using Contact Center Analytics in GoTo.